I have Invisalign, so this video is for anyone who's thinking about getting Invisalign. But the immediate snap-in after putting my attachments on was so painful. Four attachments on the top, and three attachments on the bottom. Today, I am getting Invisalign. I've got about an hour and a half to go. I'm getting very nervous. So, I've already had two appointments with the orthodontist. I had the first one to kind of discuss what the options were, what I wanted, and then I was booked in for about 45 minutes. I had a full scan of all my teeth. I had pictures, I had x-rays, everything. And now it is. Invisalign fitting day. So I'm gonna to head to the orthodontist in about an hour and take you along to show exactly what happens in the orthodontist chair on Invisalign fitting day. I am really excited but also incredibly nervous. I just want them in so I can get used to it. I feel like not knowing how clunky it's gonna feel in my mouth is the thing I'm most scared about. I guess with all of these things you get totally used to them. I have had a retainer in the past and I've also worn a gum shield for sports so I feel like it's gonna be fine. Like a gum shield is so much bigger than Invisalign, right? It's literally like a chunky piece of rubber. So I think everything's gonna be okay. So the thing I hate most about my teeth right now is this snaggle tooth. You just see this one tooth popping up in the middle. I absolutely hate it. Like, I'm happy enough to smile and show my teeth because it's not seen as much because it's on the bottom. But I do notice this bottom tooth and I hate it. And these ones are getting progressively more hooked over my front teeth, which I don't enjoy. I have also known a few people in my life to have braces as adults and that's really given me the confidence to just stuff it. I may as well get my teeth strained. I really have no idea what to expect, but I am expecting pain in my teeth when I go to eat later. I'm planning soup if it's really bad or overcooked pasta if the pain is manageable, but I'm ready. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, take a look at my before teeth. Ah, this is the last time I'm gonna have naked teeth for a while. I'm ready to go in and get Invisalign fitted and I'm really nervous now. I have bought a few things in preparation which I will show you afterwards but it's time to go. The initial Invisalign fitting appointment was basically getting me to practice, getting in and taking out my trays. Well, I sat in the chair with a dental nurse and we just practiced a few times. I popped the trays in and pulled them out. She gave me some tips on how to do that and yeah, it all seemed pretty easy going. So she talked me through some paperwork, all of my goodies in the goodie bag, and she let me know that tonight I had to give a dental monitoring scan. Okay, I'm just back from the orthodontist. The first appointment was so easy, I was really nervous in the waiting room and was just putting these Invisalign aligners in. They didn't put any uh, attachments on my teeth this time. That is coming later on in my treatment. I just sat with a dental nurse to run through all of the information. So I think they're not too noticeable. Honestly, really isn't that bad in my mouth. I feel like I have a tiny little bit of a lisp. So I was planning to have a softer lunch today, but I just had some crisps afterwards because my teeth really aren't sore at all yet. So I think so far so good. The only thing I'm noticing is that when I'm resting my mouth, it tends to rest with my lips a little bit wider open than I would usually do. Usually I rest with my mouth closed, but at the moment it feels like my mouth is kind of resting wide open. But I don't have any complaints so far. The first appointment was so simple, especially since I didn't have to get any attachments yet. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. So when I was in the orthodontist, we were actually going through the contents of what was in the goodie bag and I completely forgot that I had the Invisalign trays in. This was like a minute or two of having them in and I had immediately forgotten that they were actually in my mouth. So, good news so far. 
So let's have a wee nosy through the goodie bag. So I got a case, carry case, for when I need to take my trays out. I got these cleaning crystals, but to clean my trays I just use regular denture cleaning tablets. I got my next trays to change in two weeks time. And I got these chewies. So these are for having a little knot on to make sure that your trays are sitting nice and snug and it just kind of helps them press down and fit really nicely. Then I got these cheek retractors, very glamorous, and this scan box. So this is for slotting your phone in the front and taking a dental monitoring scan. So I was due to do a dental monitoring scan every two weeks when I was due for my two week tray changes. So I'm just gonna talk you through my first dental monitoring scan. So I had to take my trays out on the first day. Honestly, it was quite difficult, but I got the knack to it quite quickly. So I yanked my trays out as best I could, stored them away in the case, and then buckled my phone in for doing a dental monitoring scan. This is just to take a bunch of pictures to send to the orthodontist so they can see any progress, any problem areas, and give recommendations cheek retractors. Then these cheek retractors had magnets in them so they just snapped right in to the dental monitoring box. Then I was looking in the mirror to follow the instructions and look to see if my teeth were in frame. Moving my phone from the centre to the right, back to the centre, to the left, back to the centre. and. As I was doing that, it was just snapping a bunch of pictures. And then I had to put my trays back in and do another scan where my trays were in. You shift the scan box to one side. Now shift the scan box to the other side. Back to the center. Then I was able to take my phone out and have a review of the images. If there was any that were looking particularly bad, if there was any issues with them, then I could just tell it to do a rescan and yeah. That seemed easy enough. So I'm booked in to go in one month's time and I'm going to get some attachments on and I'm also going to get some IPR to like floss shave some tooth away. So the breaking in period was mostly okay. I woke up bolt upright in the middle of the night on the first night because I was really confused as to why there was plastic in my mouth. It did kind of disturb me for one night. But the second day, I patted down with orthodontal wax everywhere, like the whole way around. <laughs> and that was really a godsend in the beginning because I have these power ridges, which means there is a slight gap all the time between the top of the tray and my lip but it was very sore to start with. So I did get a little bit of blistering and I just used orthodontal wax. In the first few days, it felt like I was a teething baby and I just needed to chew on things. It was such a weird urge. And then on the third day, they fit really snug already. I feel like my teeth had shifted quite a lot just with three days. So my initial Invisalign fitting went absolutely fine. They literally just clicked in and I took them in and out a few times and it gave me such a good opportunity to just get used to them, clicking them in and out. Then after one month, I returned to get attachments on and a little bit of IPR. So they used sandpaper floss to file down in between my teeth to make them less overcrowded. And I'm gonna do a whole video on, on my experience with getting the attachments put on my teeth and getting IPR to reduce some overcrowding in my teeth without pulling any out. So if you want to see that video, feel free to check up here. If I've not filmed it yet, then subscribe. However, my orthodontist did it a really good way. He gave me two initial trays that just clipped in and that was it. So my initial fitting was so good. The most painful part was getting the trays in immediately after my attachments were put on. They snapped into place, so they put the attachments on with like a, a guide that wasn't the real tight fitting tray. So when I actually put the trays in, they snapped into place and I had immediate intense pain. I made eye contact with the dental nurse and I was like, <laughs> oh my god. 
I was paralyzed with pain for about two seconds. And as I was trying to focus and like feel how much pain I was in to warn her that I was in like serious pain, it was fading from like probably immediately like an eight to a seven within a few seconds. As I was walking out of the orthodontist, it was maybe like a two, like a grumble. But the immediate snap in after putting my attachments on was so painful. I think the attachments, because they're a new entity in your mouth, and then snapping the trays on, if there's like a 0.1 of a millimeter difference, it really hurts. <laughs> I was not expecting this to happen on my fifth tray, but I can floss straight now. This is gonna seem like nothing, but the day has finally come where I can floss my bottom teeth straight. Before, I was flossing at like real funky angles because my teeth were so squint and I can finally floss straight. I know that seems like the silliest thing, but I am so happy. It's been years when I've kind of not really bothered flossing my front teeth because they were so squint. It used to take so much pressure to get the floss in and I had to come up with some real funky angles and that took me so much less time than it used to. And I know they're not straight yet. I mean, I still have my little snaggle tooth behind. It's still like a complete row behind all the other teeth. However, this is a big improvement. Okay, so I have four attaches on the top and three attachments on the bottom. So when I first got the attachments on, they felt like the harling on the outside of a building when you scrape your knuckles on them on the inside of my mouth. They were sharp and incredibly abrasive but like almost with points to them so that was horrendous the first time I took my trays out I had to be like careful of how much I moved my mouth now I'm completely used to them I feel like the the gum inside my mouth is thickened and yeah it feels totally fine but they are, they do smooth. I'm sure that the attachments smooth with time. When I first got them, they were, oh, I want to almost say like sandpapery in texture on the outside. Now, I mean, they're not perfectly smooth, but they have definitely smoothened. Is that even a word? <laughs> they have definitely, but they have definitely, they definitely gotten more smooth. So oh, I'll kind of show you. So that's me like scratching the attachment, like scratching my teeth. Sounds nice and smooth. The attachments, they're obviously not sandpapery anymore and they're not hurting the inside of my mouth in any way, especially when I've got my trays in, which is most of the time. Uh, but I don't notice them when I eat now. The only thing that will occasionally happen is I'll get like food extra stuck on them. But yeah, attachments, completely used to them, don't notice them at all. My teeth used to be so overcrowded that I very rarely had that much food stuck in between them. Now they are getting gappy. I have a lot more food to floss out, which is delightful. I clean my Invisalign every day with Sterident denture tablets made for false teeth. I think they do a brilliant job. I was not expecting to actually enjoy having the trays in my mouth. They like satisfying and comforting. I can't explain it. The feeling of having slightly achy teeth is really satisfying to me. It's like the satisfaction you get when you have slightly achy muscles after a workout. It's like, mm, something's happening right now. And I kind of enjoy it. I do also do two week changes and they fit really snug, especially in the second week and I can just kind of chew on them a bit and feel that they're fitting snug. It's such a comfort. I'm only on tray five at the moment, so I'm still very early on, 
But I wanted to make this for getting fitted for Invisalign and kind of the beginning stages, the breaking in period and how I have been coping. So I hope that was useful. If you want to see more of my Invisalign series then feel free to click up here and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!